Hello everybody, welcome back to Newbies Work on Cars. Today we'll make this pickle jar to something more useful. We'll be doing a smoke machine. First thing first, we need to get rid of the pickle. Yay! I'll be back. Alright, so it's empty. Don't worry, I didn't throw it away. I don't like waste, but... Why is the pickle jar rather than just buying an empty jar? Well, here's the sad truth. If you want to buy an empty jar like this by itself, it's about $5. But if you have the jar with the pickles in it, it's less than $2. So we are doing on a budget, so it's gonna be as cheap as possible while everything, you know, uh, looks somewhat okay. So, and basically these one, they already have uh, the seal inside, so it's uh, airtight. Don't have to worry about that part. Other things we are looking for. So I said this, less than two dollars, let's say dollar and a half kind of deal, maybe less than that. Um, you need a big pen. I did not have any of that in here, so you only need one. All right, so once you uh, take the uh, pen apart, we need this section, so basically this and that. So you have to take it, you have to take this off, this splits from here and you have to take this back cap off so I just chopped it off and you know make sure it's gonna be empty on the inside yeah so it's gonna be empty on the inside here so the idea behind uh, <clears throat> this setup in here basically we need to make two holes in here for this one for this one here that's going to be the air intake and there's going to be the air exhaust um, the way why this one is going to be the exhaust because if you look over here and basically it's uh, tapered and you have an edge hopefully you can see that so you have the edge in here and that basically, we will stick it from the inside, so we can get the tube, uh, the tube off. So we need to make uh, some holes in here. So I know for sure I have one of those, but I don't know where I placed it. So I went ahead and bought another one. That's like in five dollars. You need a drill. Uh, also, also we need to figure out what size to use so I'll I'll get this apart because you know it's always painful to take these apart and uh, let's see here you'll see me struggle with it hopefully not but we'll see Not as, as as hard as I thought. Okay. So, in reality, this is the internal, but we need both sides. So the first hole is gonna be first step, second step, and hopefully that is correct. And also, the other thing is, we need everything to be a little bit, a little bit off the edges in here because this is seal and we need a, an airtight seal in here. So that's one of the things we have to look for. Thank you. 
yeah, this is going to be my mark. So it is about uh, 11.15 at night, so <laughs> hopefully I'm not making too much noise in here. So I'll get my drill. Yeah. We'll go slowly about it. Okay, so this one part, the other part, which is this, let me see, yeah, I think this will, will be okay. Now we need to make a third hole, which is basically, we will stick soldering iron in here. This is like a three and a half dollars from uh, Harbor Freight. So yeah, basically this will fit uh, perfectly into the bicycle pump uh, air, it's the same size of the uh, of stem basically. Um, so basically if you see your bicycle pump will fit into the stem and you clamp it on, this thing is the same size as the stem so, uh, so it can be a perfect seal in there. So. I'll saturate it, I'll put it together, and I'll come in tomorrow morning, I'll show you, you know, how that worked out for me, and we'll give it a test and see, then we'll come into the final results. Alright, so I added this much, till here, mineral oil, you know, I sucked it up, so we'll see if this uh, will make some progress. I haven't saturated very long yet, so I guess uh, I'll wait. Uh, I'll wait patiently for a little bit, and uh, we'll see. Yeah, so while we're waiting for this to saturate, so basically, go ahead and take this off. Um, I've seen other other ones that where they cut it short, like this. To me, I don't know. I think the air will go down. From here, that will make more circulation and goes up. So, hopefully, we get more smoke that way. Otherwise, I can just 
chop it off. It doesn't make any difference. But basically, to uh, seal, it, seal it off, uh, we'll be using a JB weld. Uh, I have uh, different styles, but apparently this is the only one I can see now. So it's uh, meant to be for uh, steel, but oh well. Anyway, when we are doing the JB weld and the cuts and all that, we need to be as far as possible from the seal in here because if we hit that, you know, we will ruin the uh, airtight seal basically. So I'll do the JB weld and we'll see. Alright, guys, so it's uh, next day. I uh, waited for everything to, you know, dry up. Still somewhat, see some time, a little bit more time to fully dry. But, you know, I couldn't be more patient to do it. So if you look over here, we have the uh, wick and the soldering, you know, touching the two wicks I have in there. So hopefully that will create uh, more smoke. So the other issue I was facing is, as you saw earlier with my... Uh, with my pump, with my air pump. So basically, the uh, tip broke. So now I have the pump like this. So we'll see. You know, just for testing purposes, I'll put it next in here and uh, basically pump that way. So, wanna try it, shall we? All right, so it's been about five minutes or so. As you can see, I put a black background so you can see it. Uh, the camera doesn't pick it up very well without uh, having some darker background. So, we'll see there, see like there's smoke inside. Start, you know, getting out from here. And if we put some air in. This actually would work. So yeah, next step, uh, or once it's everything you know dries and the weather give me some break in here, uh, I will go ahead and you know see if there is an air leak or so in the intake of the Honda, uh, the, on the Prelude. So I guess uh, the project uh, is working. Well, just we have to test it out.